The coronavirus has sent students home for the rest of the year and parents are home indefinitely without work in many cases. For private school tuition, it's still going on. It's still due. I talked via Skype today with a young couple in Severn, Maryland, Kaisha and Joseph Patterson. They're among the thousands of area families looking for answers now. We have uh, two girls named uh, Nissa and Kyla. I'm a personal trainer. I essentially own my own business now. Okay. Um, we're all kind of doing virtual online stuff. I work in the IT field uh, as a contractor. Due to the social distancing, they've they've cut the workforce a little bit. Right. So I'm on uh, one week on, one week off. You, you've got your two daughters in private school, correct? Yes. Correct. Okay, and you, you came to my attention because the school wants to be paid. The school needs to be paid. T tell me about that. We received an email last night from the school. Um, essentially, you know, um, I've got the email in front of me. So they were talking about how um, we understand and acknowledge and agree that the enrollment in their school is a privilege, not a right. Um, and so later in the paragraph, it says, so it should go without saying that the obligation to continue paying as was agreed should already be fully understood regardless of the situation we are all facing. What, what's it costing you to send your children to this school? For both girls, uh, it's about 1200 monthly. Joseph, what do you make of that? Uh, the school saying they, they, they need the money. They want the money. They expect you, you to come up with it despite your circumstances. I'm a little bit torn about how it's all worded. Um, it just it makes it seem as though the school is more concerned with getting their paycheck as opposed to the parents being financially sound during this crisis. You, you're, you're two of hundreds, if not thousands, of people right here in the D.C. area. I've, I've heard of the government pausing the student loan payments. Um, I would just assume that it would go across the industry, you know, credit cards, mortgages, any sort of private institutions that you're paying for. Uh, since it is a schooling, I would assume that would also apply. That we're still going to pay them the money, you know, but it's just a pause. It's a temporary pause. You know, we're all going through a hard time and more than anything, we need to come together um, and figure out a way through this and hopefully our government will do something sooner than later. Multiply that family by several thousand. You've heard President Trump say he wants to open the country up uh, for business by Easter. And the market today, you saw it, it was up by more than 2,000 points in anticipation of a stimulus package from Capitol Hill. But scientists tonight are saying, hold on, coronavirus restrictions to stay in place for several more weeks. I'm asking you, what's a family like the Pattersons of Severn, Maryland supposed to do?